Good afternoon from Yami B T V. Sending special love to you all once again as well. Um, yeah, I've come up, I'll give you a couple of stories today. And you've been asking me for quite some time about is there certain men that were seriously underestimated and underrated because they didn't have so-called big names in the criminal um, fraternity. If you from you know, because there's a lot of the time we talk about. Um, the ones that have really been out there with major crimes are meant to be linked to this bit and that bit. Um, the first guy that I'm going to talk to you about today, I believe was a rugby player. His name was Carl Burgess. He was from Northampton, sure, right? Um, six foot eight, right? Kind of happy-go-lucky. Laughs at everything. It's kind of a bit like someone we know. Um, but sometimes this kind of being happy-go-lucky and just getting on with your time and that kind of stuff can be... You know, like a, some some men might look at it as like you're some kind of mug, or you know what I mean. That, you know, you're not really much of a threat. But me looking at him, I wouldn't really believe that. If you get what I mean, I've seen too many things in my life, right? Um, Carl Burgess was having it with Lee Murray's Cody, Lee Russia, and Jet, and it was another geezer. They always used to train, go on the mat, and blah blah. I think we spoke about one before that. The geezer that was meant to kill his mum and dad, he was around at the same time. So a lot of people get jealous of the group in there because, you know, they're getting the freedom of the gym and that kind of stuff. There's always politics in the cafes. Um, but you could be mistaken for people that are, are happy-go-lucky. And this geezer called Gunter, right? He's called Gunter. Um, same size as Carl Burgess, right? Just a bit of background on Carl Burgess as well. Um, they got him training. He was into his weights and done a bit of running and all that, but they got him onto the row machine and, you know, um, the chin-ups with the weights and that. For his size, what he was doing was absolutely phenomenal. And believe it, he started breaking records on the row machine as well, right? So, um, Gunnar is like, you know, there's, there's many like that um, who, who might see laughter as some kind of weakness, right? And decides... When they're all having a laugh, then three or four on that side decides to just butt in and say, yeah, what's so funny and all that, man? Well, it's like, you know, you don't want to see other people happy, but you're thinking Carl Burgess is a mug, mate, and you come unstuck. And he's, Carl Burgess's face changed. But I, if you see the way that he is naturally, I think we could draw comparisons with me when I was moving your eyes. It's always in the eyes, remember that? When he said that to Carl Burgess, right, I've seen something similar, not as deep as this from me before. I was thinking, nah, he's just a good geezer, mate, but he's a real handful. I thought so. He switched on him. His eyes just bore into him. His eyes reminded me of when Slaney loses it. When they, you, can, you just know that it's you seriously, seriously on, mate. And, you know, I will always take Uncle Yami. has got a knack of knowing who's capable of what without having ever seen them fight. Anyway, straight away, good luck. Trying to now, you, you're the one that sets set the stall out. You find this a lot, those category A's. That's why you always remember to watch your mouth. Don't talk yourself into stuff. Uh, because if you start if you start backtracking after you've made that big talk and put it on someone, you're going to get, it's not going to look good for you if you don't back what you're saying. Because really, he never really said anything or done anything to you. So he's put it on him, Carl Burgess. He said, yeah, but he said, do you want to just go? Let's go round, round to the back and blah, 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 blah. His ass fell out, mate. His ass fell out. And then twice, three times, two, once before that, small kid, and then two or three times after that, I saw the same look in his eye, Carl Burgess. I didn't need to see him fight, mate. I knew exactly what was coming from him. Trust me, mate. So if you ever want to know about an uh, uh, under, uh, underrated thing, and there's loads of men, I'm going to get round to some of those town men that nobody ever hears about, um, nobody ever knows about or knows their names. Uh, but they could beat up a lot of the big names, man. They can, right? So that was him. That's an, an underrated man as far as I was concerned, but with a good character. Now, you asked me about a little guy, a man that, that people walk past on the wing and they don't, uh, nobody really says hello too much. You might get the odd people, but they're not, not getting like big respect kind of thing where, you know, you're in the mix where you're, he's out showing out, you know, like you get a lot of attention, that kind of stuff. A geezer from Coventry called David, Dave Bowman, I think his name was, right? Not that big physically or nothing like that. But again, um, got tested one of those days and he completely annihilated a well-known face as well. Right, and these are the things again that one 
people fall into and make this, this fatal mistake of underestimating smaller geezers. Now, it's done him over some mental allegedly stabbed him up as well and, I've been, and it's happened two or three or four times do you know the dynamics on the wing after that I'm from, and it's, when you see you're kind of sickened by it sometimes because all of a sudden everyone starts you're right mate um, yeah um, do, do you want to come on my food bowl oh how about doing a bit of training because he was good with his fist as well but an unknown quantity I think he was a major drug dealer in his area um, but let me tell you something Everyone, you'd be surprised, like, you get some of us like, looking in the background and thinking, ah, you weren't talking to him before all that and this and that. As soon as he's done something like that, and he's done, it's just the same. Like, people that don't know, they come there, they think the same thing, the same thing happens to what happened to the other one. But all of a sudden, he gets, he gets the glory and gets the limelight and gets absolute respect, but never, ever had any ego like Carl Burgess. Is what I mean. It always serves you well, man. Many are underdog and underestimated, man. Come out most of the time. Um, and cause, cause shockwaves through everything. Now, the Tommy Mullins, Thomas Mullins, right? The Irish boxer that I told you about once up here. Right now, he's a real, real serious handful. I'll put him up against absolutely anyone. Now, do you ask me about him and Tony Argent? Right, they were joined at the hip. They were on the same mental wavelength. One morning. They were down by the stairs um, sparring, right? And sometimes obviously we know that sparring can go really wrong, especially when you've got two um, big names fighting each other who just don't like to lose. But the majority of the time, the main fighters, they they um, they understand what it is. And just because you might not be getting a better it, not everyone's uh, better than everyone. And so sparring, you learn more from someone that knows more than you, right? But it's, you know, just to see Tony Argent and Thomas Mullins sparring downstairs um, um going full in as well and it wasn't the first time as well and they loved each other dearly right so you lot asked me that question two of you the other day what really happened is it was going on for quite some time and you could hear first it was the pads and then they would you know they was exchanging playfully you know what i mean guess what they done the screws they pressed the bell. They thought it was going off for real. All of them started piling on. When they all got down to the bottom of the stairs, right? All the screws, when they see who it was, they all, they all stopped right in front of them all. I said, look, 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 can you look back? We're sparring, we're just having, we're just having a little gold thing. It happened in the gym sometimes. I don't know what the problem was, but that was that. The bell went off. And when I told you the amount of screws that came running on that morning, right? was something to be, and when they got there none of them um approached thomas mullins or tony argent that's what happened all right so send him more love i've got more videos